अष्टाध्यायी प्रवेश पार्ट वन इसेन्शियल बेसिक्स बिफोर एम्बार्किंग ऑन अष्टाध्यायी अ नोट बाय अष्टाध्यायी स्टूडंट एस एल अभ्यंकर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाय वुड वन वॉन्ट टू स्टडी अष्टाध्यायी वेन लर्निंग अ न्यू लैंग्वेज वन इज नैचरली कॉन्शियस दैट देर शुड नॉट बी एनी ग्रैमेटिकल मिस्टेक्स दिस इज व्री वेरी ट्रू पर्टिक्युलरली फॉर संस्कृतम बिकॉज संस्कृतम हैज झीरो टॉलरन्स फॉर ग्रैमेटिकल एरर्स रादर एरोनियस संस्कृतम इज नॉट संस्कृतम ऐट ऑल इट इज वेल नोन दैट अष्टाध्यायी इज अ स्टैंडर्ड रेफरन्स टेक्स्ट ऑन संस्कृत व्याकरण सो समवन मे गेट एन आइडिया टू एम्बॉर्क ऑन स्टडिंग संस्कृत संस्कृतम बाय स्टडिंग अष्टाध्यायी इट्स फॉर प्रमोटिंग संस्कृतम देर हैज बीन अनदर इनिशिएटिव ऑफ लर्निंग संस्कृतम बाय प्रमोटिंग संभाषण संस्कृत देर लॉजिक और आर्ग्युमेंट सीम्स टू बी दैट चिल्ड्रेन लर्न देअर मदर टंग विदाउट लर्निंग इट्स ग्रामर सो वाई कैन संस्कृत बी नॉट लर्न दैट वे देर आर बिग फैलसीज इन दिस लॉजिक और आर्ग्युमेंट वेन चिल्ड्रेन लर्न देअर मदर टंग विदाउट लर्निंग इट्स ग्रामर दे आर इन द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द मदर टंग ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सेवन इज इट पॉसिबल टू प्रोवाइड दैट फॉर लर्निंग संस्कृतम मे बी If parents would learn Sanskritam and speak only Sanskritam, their children would grow in that environment, may pick up Sanskritam as their mother tongue. Even with that, there is a big problem that was what Sanskritam the parents would have learned has to be perfect, because as stated above, Sanskritam has zero tolerance for errors. Also, there is big permissiveness in spoken languages. You do not correct the speaker every now and then, when the speaker would commit an error. That permissive permissiveness has caused many dialects to flourish alongside the main language. There have already been many many languages which has which has sprung from Sanskritam. Those languages are not called Sanskritam. They are not Sanskritam. They are possibly dialects sprung from Sanskritam. They are Prakrita Aha Bhasha. Almost all Indian languages spoken across India are Prakrita Aha Bhasha. So people enthusiastic about promoting Sanskritam by Sambhashana Sanskritam need to ask and check for themselves whether they end up promoting Sanskritam or more dialects of Prakrita Aha Bhasha. My experience has been that too much erroneous Sanskritam is being spoken in the enthusiasm of promoting Sambhashana Sanskritam. I came across a message posted in one such group promoting sambhashana sanskritam network problem asti ata meeting attend na karu shakto is this not totally abhorable all those who learn sanskritam by sambhashana sanskritam root need to check how much grammatically correct vyakarana shuddham is their sanskritam that can be verified only by checking with ashtadhyay whether you like it or not For learning Sanskritam, one must learn Sanskrit Vyakaran. There is a Subhashitam which urges upon this study, upon this only. Yadyapi bahu na dhiše tatha api patha putra Vyakaranam swajana swajano ma bhut sakalam sakalam sakrut sakrut. Hey son, even if you may not study much else, grammar you must learn. or else swajanaha own people may become swajano dogs sakalam wholeness may become shakalam pieces sakrut beneficent may become shakrut shit if convinced of studying sanskrit vyakaranam one may think of studying ashtadhyay but one must become aware of some basic essentials before embarking on a study of ashtadhyay That is the purpose of this writer. Ashtadhyayi is sutra vangme. There is a shloka which defines what a sutra is. Swalpa sharma sandhidham saravad vishvato mukham asto bhavana vadyanjyo sutram sutra vidho viduhu sutra vidha. Those who know what a sutra is know viduhu that. A sutra is swalpa aksharam, composed of very few letters. Is a sandigdam, 
unambiguous is saravat brings forth the essence is vishvato mukham has universal appeal astobham has no frills anavadyam is not unreadable that is it can be pronounced and memorized when thinking of embarking on studying ashtadhyayi there is a mute question about where does one begin one may wonder why this question would not one begin serially starting from the first sutram my answer is no why not okay before answering why not let me go with you and start with the first sutram sutram 111 vruddhi radaish vruddhi at aich well i have given the breakup of vruddhi radaish as vruddhi at aich how did i do that only boys from previous knowledge that vruddhi radaish should break up as vruddhi at aich does ashtadhyayi presuppose some previous knowledge yes ashtadhyayi does presuppose quite some previous knowledge that is the reason why one cannot start from the first sutram let us take it that break up of vruddhi radaish is vruddhi at aich is correct of the three words vruddhi at aich the first vruddhi sounds to be one of which the meaning growth is known but the words at and aich are not there even in the dictionary there are word there are words in ashtadhyayi which cannot be found in dictionary that is another reason why we cannot start from the first sutram so how do we proceed actually the custom is to start the study of a sacred text as ashtadhyayi with a salutation are we stuck up because we disrespected the custom anyway the shloka of salutation is yena aksharam sanu yena aksharam samam nayam adhigamy maheshwara krutsnam vyakaranam proktam tasmai pani naye namaha pada patha yena aksharam samam nayam adhigamy maheshwara krutsnam vyakaranam proktam tasmai pani naye namaha anvaya artha yena he by whom maheshwara directly from maheshwara akshara samamnayam the meditation worthy ensemble of letters adhigamya was obtained and assimilated and by that krutsnam the entire vyakaranam grammar proktam was delineated tasmai unto him paninaye unto panini munihi namaha obai jansis what is that akshara samamnayam the meditation were the ensemble of letters that akshara samamnayam was understood directly from maheshwara is endorsed in another shloka nrutta avasane nataraj rajo nanad dhakkam nav panchavaram uddhartu kama sanakadi siddhan etad vimarshe shiva sutra jalam pada patha nrutta avasane nataraj raja nanad धक्काम नवपंचवारम उद्धर्तु कामः सनक आदि सिद्धान एतद् विमर्शे शिवसूत्र जालम अन्वयार्थ सनक आदि सिद्धान उद्धर्तु कामः नटराज राजा द लॉर्ड आल्सो द लॉर्ड अमंग डांसर्स विशिंग टू अपलिफ्ट उद्धर्तु सनक एंड द अदर सिद्धाः नृत्तावसाने टुवर्ड द एंड ऑफ हिज सेलेशियल डांस धक्काम नवपंचवारम ननाद साउंडेड इज डमरु नाइन एंड फाइव दैट इज फोर्टीन टाइम्स एक शिवसूत्र जालम विमर्शे आई कंटेंट दैट दो साउंड्स वॉज द नेटवर्क ऑफ शिवसूत्राण पुटिंग द एसेंस ऑफ दिश द्वौ श्लोक अभव अभव द शिवसूत्राणी आर द अक्षर सामम नाय द मेडिटेशन वर दी एनसेम्बल ऑफ लेटर्स ऑल इन ऑल Study of Ashtadhyayi should begin with the fourteen Shiva Sutrani, right? Okay. What are those Shiva Sutrani? The Akshara Samam Nayam, the meditation worthy ensemble of letters. The fourteen Shiva Sutrani are Ayun, Rulruk, Ayom, Ay Auch, Hayavarat, Lan, Yamagananam, Zabhay, 
घड़धश जबगड़दश खप छट तचट तव कपाए शशसर हल शिवसूत्राणी ऐज अक्षरसमनायम एंड एनसेम्बल ऑफ लेटर्स आर मेडिटेशन वर्दी बिकॉज बाय मेडिटेटिंग वन कैन डेसिवर मेनी सिग्निफिकन्सेस डू यू सी ऐच ऑफ वृद्धिरादेश इन शिवसूत्रम फोर आई ऊच येस बट देर इज ऑल्सो आउ इन बिट्वीन गुड ऑब्जर्वेशन ऐच इन वृद्धिरादेश एक्चुअली स्टैंड फॉर बोथ आई एंड आउ दिस इज सो बिकॉज ऐच कैन बी टेकन टू मीन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम आई अप टू च हेन्स बोथ आई एंड आउ वॉट अबाउट च इट इज ओनली एन एंड मार्कर कॉल्ड एज अनुबंधा द लिमिट इंडिकेटिव इफ वी स्टार्ट विथ अ इन आई उन एंड प्रोसीड अप टू च निग्लेक्टिंग द अनुबंधा अच बिकम्स अ टू लेटर कोड कंटेनिंग ऑल दी वॉवेल्स अ ई उ रु रु ए ओ आई औ इवन वेन सेंग ऑल वॉवेल्स द लिस्ट मिसेस दीर्घस्वरा आ ई उ रु बट बाय कन्वेन्शन इट इज टेकन दैट अ ई उ रु इन दी फर्स्ट टू शिव सूत्रे आर टू बी टेकन टू बी इंक्लूसिव ऑफ देअर दीर्घस्वरा आ ई उ रु एक्चुअली दिस इज सो नॉट जस्ट बाय कन्वेन्शन देर इज अ सूत्र वन वन सिक्सटी नाइन अणुदे सवर्ण से चा प्रत्यय विच एंडोर्स एज दिस इफ द सूत्र वन वन सिक्सटी नाइन अणुदे सवर्ण से चा प्रत्यय कम्स दैट मच ए लेटर हाउ डू दन अप्लाई इट वेन स्टडिंग शिवसूत्राणी अष्टाध्यायी डज सपोज क्वाइट सम प्रीवियस नॉलेज द एम ऑफ दिस राइटर इज टू आउटलाइन the presuppositions actually even to understand how sutram 1169 anudit savarnasya cha pratyaya provides that a e u ru in the first two shiva sutre are to be taken to be inclusive of their dirha swaraha a e u ru one needs to study that sutram we however just started only with the first sutram and got stuck up For the present, let us take it as convention that a e u ru in the first two Shiva Sutra are to be taken to be inclusive of their Dirga Swaraha a e u ru. By the way, the consonant elements Vyanjanani in Shiva Sutra ani five to fourteen are written a ending. This is only for ease of pronouncing. As Vyanjanani. They are to be taken to be without a. All manumandha of all sutrani are consonants, manjanani. But there is no problem in pronouncing them. That is why the anubandha are not a ending. Similar to the two two-letter words, ich and ach. One can get quite many such words from Shiva sutrani. All such words are called as pratyahara ha extracts. Extracted from Shiva Sutra, from the three varna ha a e u in the first Shiva Sutra and fourteen anubandha after them, we can get four forty two pratyahara. With two varna in the second Shiva Sutra and trayodasha anubandha after them, we can get twenty six pratyahara. With two varna in the third Shiva Sutra and twelve anubandha after them. We can get twenty-four pratyahara. With two or no in the fourth Shiva Sutra and eleven anubandha after them, we can get twenty-two pratyahara. With four or no in the first fifth Shiva Sutra and ten abandhu anubandha after them, we can get forty pratyahara. With the one or no in the sixth Shiva Sutra and nine anubandha after it, we can get nine pratyahara. With five varna ha in the seventh Shiva Sutra and eight anubandha after them, we can get forty pratyahara. With two varna in the eighth Shiva Sutra and seven anubandha after them, we can get chaturdasha pratyahara. With three varna ha, three varna ha in the ninth 
Navam Shiva Sutram and six Anubandhaha after them, we can get Ashtadasha Pratyaharaha. With five Varnaha in the Dashamam Shiva Sutram and Pancha Anubandhaha after them, we can get Pancha Vimshati Pratyaharaha. With Ashta Varnaha in the eleventh Shiva Sutram and Chaturaha, Chatvaraha Anubandhaha after them, we can get Dvatrimshat Pratyaharaha. With Dvau Varnau in the Dvadasham Shiva Sutram and Trayaha Anubandhaha after them, we can get Shat Pratyaharaha. With three Varnaha in the thirteenth Sutram and Dvau Anubandhau after them, we can get Shat Pratyahara. With the one Varnaha ha, in the fourteenth Shiva Sutram and its Anubandhaha la, we get Pratyahara hal. But this Pratyahara hal is already obtained with the first Varna ha in the fifth Shiva Sutram and Anubandha la of this fourteenth Shiva Sutram. So, we do not count this Pratyahara hal obtained from this fourteenth Shiva Sutram. Actually, Pratyahara an also happens twice, both times with the first Varnaha a in the first Shiva Sutram, once with Anubandha an of the first Shiva Sutram and next with Anubandha an of the sixth Shiva Sutram. All in all, there can be 303 Pratyahara. In Ashtadhyayi, 43 Pratyahara out of these 303 are very much used. Since all Pratyaharaha contain more than Varnaha, every Pratyaharaha is actually a code name, Samudhnya, for the set of Varnaha contained in it. Note, every Pratyahara Samudhnya is both the name of the set and also a generic name for every element of it. For example, Ach means any Swaraha, when used in singular. Achaha means three of or more Swaraha. Because achaha is the plural of ach. Some important and interesting pratyahara are ach, which connotes the set of all bhaves. Note, what we call as swaranta, swaranta, vowel ending, since every element of ach is a swaraha, ach anta equal to ajanta equal to swaranta. Hal, which connotes the set of all consonants. Note, what we call as Vyanjana Anta, Vyanjana Anta, consonant ending. Since every element of Hal is a Vyanjanam, Hal plus Anta, Hal Anta, that is Vyanjana Anta. Al, which connotes the set of all Varnaha, of the complete Varnamala. Yam, which connotes the set of all nasal consonants, Yamagananam, Yamagananam. Jash, which connotes the set of all Alpa Prana Mrudu consonants, Jabagada the. Jash, which connotes the set of all Maha Prana Mrudu consonants, Jabagada the. Yai, which connotes the set of all 25 Vargiya Vinyanani. Not Yai is actually Yam plus Jash plus Jai. Shar, which connotes the set of the three Ushma Vyanjanani consonants Sh, Sh, S. Note the two Pratyahara, N and H, rather in Pratyahara H. Note N plus H is equal to H. The sequential order of the Swaraha A, O, I, O is different from their order in dictionary. Why so? The logic is that as per Sutram 111, Vruddhi Radaich, I and Au have Vruddhi inherent. Also, A and O have Gunaha inherent. As per Sutram 112, Adeng Gunaha, Adeng Gunaha. Likewise, in Pratyahara Yan, Starting from Y in Shiva Sutram 5 up to N, the Anubandha of Shiva Sutram 6. 
द सब्सिक्वेंट ऑर्डर ऑफ द व्यंजन आनी यवर अल दि सिक्वेंशियल ऑर्डर ऑफ द व्यंजन आनी यवर अल इज डिफरंट फ्रॉम देर ऑर्डर इन डिक्शनरी वाय सो द लॉजिक इज दैट द सूत्रम सिक्स वन सेवेंटी सेवेन ई को यण अचे ई कहा यण अचे कॉमेंट्स दैट दि वॉवेस ई उ रूल रू इन प्रत्याहार एक चेंज टू य वर अल रिस्पेक्टिवली when followed by an ach that is by another vowel so the order of y over l in yan corresponds to the order of the vowels e u r u r u in pratyahara ek this way the sutram 6177 eko yana chi specifies the rule for as many as 96 types of sandeha such as ati plus utsahena atyutsahena खलु प्लस इदम खल विदम पितृ प्लस आज्ञा पित्र आज्ञा दिस इज अ स्पेसिफेन ऑफ द एक्सट्रीम इंटेलिजेंस इनहिरन इन शिवसूत्र एंड द प्रत्याहारा ऑप्टेनुअल फ्रो फ्रॉम देम दैट द रूल फॉर संध्या ऑफ एज मेनी नाइंटी सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ संध्या आर जस्ट समराइज इन दी थ्री वर्ड्स ई को यणच और राधा टू वर्ड्स ओन Aich in vruddhi radaish is a pratyahara. What about at? At means a only, because the means only. Is that so? Yes, it is so defined in Sutram one one seventy. The parastat kala sya. All in all, the meaning of Sutram one 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 vruddhi radaish is vruddhi is what is inherent in at that is in a and in aich. That is in I and Au. In the discussion above, there are mentions of Sutram one one one, Vruddhi Radhaij, Shiva Sutra, Sutram one one sixty nine, Anudesh Savarna Se Cha Pratyaya, Sutram one one two, Adayeng Guna, Sutram six one seventy seven, Iko Yana Chi, Sutram one one seventy, Taparas Tatkalasya. Oh. There have been mentions of fourteen Shiva Sutrani and five other Ashtadhyayi Sutrani. May it be noted that this is only part one of Ashtadhyayi Pravesha. It would be good to reread this part one until you are sure that the essential basics discussed above, discussed here, are well set in your mind. By the way, it would be good to memorize the Shiva Sutrani. I have quoted the following shloka also. It is always good to build up a repertoire of shloka and subhashitani. So I have combined them here, put them here together. Yadyapi bahuna adhiye tathapi patha putra vyakaranam swajana swajano maabhud sakalam shakalam sakrut shakrut swalpaksharama sandigdham saravad vishvato mukham asto bhavana vadyanjyo. सूत्र सूत्र विदो विदु ये नाक्षर सामनायमगम्य महेशरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन ये नम नृत्तावसने नटराजराजो ननादढ़का नवपंचवर उद्धर्त काम सनकादि सिद्धांतर्शे शिवसूत्रजाल लेट अस्टेक पॉज बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टू पार्ट टू शुभमस्तु